Hey there, I'm Angie, one of the business librarians at York University. By the end of this video, you will be able to use library databases to locate industry trends associated with environmental, social, and governance issues, and locate company responses to these issues, which will help you to understand how companies are responding to them. Bronfman Library's Business Ethics Guide is a one-stop shop that covers all the library resources mentioned in today's video. You can access this guide at the URL shown on the screen. Let's go to the guide, then to the Management 2060 tab. The top database that covers both industry ESG issues and company responses is Sustainalytics. It's a reputable research firm that conducts in-depth environmental, social, and governance research on companies and industries around the world. To log into Sustainalytics off-campus, you need to be authenticated via Passport York and do authentication as the first step. Once authenticated, you will see a set of logins, memorize one set from the list, and click the red button that says click here to log in. You will be directed to a new page. On this page, type in a login you memorized to get into the portal. Now you're logged in. Notice the log icon next to some products. This means York does not subscribe to these products. Worry not, I will show you the products we do subscribe to that are useful for your assignment. ESG risk ratings are designed to help investors identify and understand ESG risks at the security and portfolio level. It captures the company's exposure to material, industry-specific ESG risks, and the company's management of those risks. The ESG risk rating provides investors with an overall company score based on the assessment of how much a company's exposure to ESG risk is unmanaged. The more of the risk that is unmanaged, the higher the ESG risk rating score is. Sustainalytics controversies research identifies companies involved in incidents and events that may pose the business or reputation risk due to the potential impact on stakeholders, the environment, or the company's operations. The background information comes from a wide range of reliable international and local news, as well as NGO sources. The sources of information used in the two products are different. ESG risk ratings use corporate disclosure, media coverage, and NGO reporting. Controversy research analyzes a wide range of international and local news, as well as NGO sources. It's important to look at both reports to gather information on companies' responses. Furthermore, understand how the company is responding to these issues. Let's click on ESG risk rating to take a closer look. I want to draw your attention to the videos and PDF tutorials on this page because they will help you better understand the ESG risk rating framework. For example, you definitely want to watch the video on main signals to look for in the company report. The methodology and FAQ are very useful as well. I'm going to use a Canadian mining company called Barrett Gold to demonstrate how to look up industry ESG issues and the company's response to them. Click on the magnifying glass next to Sustainalytics logo on top to run the company search. Type Barrick Gold into the search box. Select Barrick Gold Corp from the dropdown to go to the company overview page. On the company overview page, notice the ESG risk rating on top and controversies beneath it. As I mentioned earlier, I recommend looking at both for your assignment. Let's click on ESG risk rating. Depending on your preference, you can either view the report in the current format or click full report to download the PDF. Notice the industry report tab on top. Let's click on it. It opens up the precious metals ESG risk reading report. You can read this report to learn about the ESG issues facing this industry. Alternatively, you can access industry ESG research by going to research ESG risk reading industry reports. A total of 42 industries are covered by Sustainalytics. These reports offer in-depth analysis that you can use to quickly get up to speed on key industry trends and the distribution of ESG risk both within and across industries. If you're interested in learning more about methodologies used by Sustainalytics, go back to the Business Ethics Guide under Management 2060 tab. Check out Sustainalytics Academy. It's an online portal with product methodology, FAQs, and video for first-time users. And for deepening users' knowledge, you can sign into Sustainalytics Academy with the same username and password you used earlier. The next database I'm going to show you is Mergent Online Investex for industry trends, market research, competitive analysis, and company studies around the world. Authenticate and log into Mergent Online with your Passport York. On Mergent Online's landing page, click the Investex tab on top of the screen. Let's look at ESG issues facing the mining industry. On top portion of the page, select last 12 months for the day range. Under search criteria, click the plus sign next to keywords. 
type ESG into the search box. Keep the search headline setting. Next, click the plus sign next to industry. Type precious metals into the search box. Select precious metals and minerals from the dropdown. Click Submit to run the search. 54 matches appear as search results. Click View to see the 54 reports that match the search criteria. Here are some tips to help you decide which reports are likely to be more relevant and worth downloading. Tip 1. Check the contributor field to see if it's a reputable research firm. You may refer to the Premium Contributors PDF listed in the Business Ethics Guide. Tip 2. Review the title of the report to assess its relevance. Tip 3. Click View under Keyword Hit to see how many times and where the keyword appears in each report. Tip 4. Do a bulk download of multiple reports at a time rather than opening them individually. Bulk download compiles multiple reports into one PDF and you can run the keyword search scan using Ctrl or Command F in one document more efficiently. You can select up to 15 reports to download at a time. To do a bulk download, check the boxes to the left of the titles and click the floppy disk icon. As a rule of thumb, longer reports from reputable banks or research firms are likely to contain more relevant information. The fourth report is 57 pages long. It was published by Scotiabank at the end of July, definitely worth downloading. Remember, what I showed you is just one way to retrieve ESG-related industry research in this database. You can modify your search criteria and try different search strategies to see what works best for the industry you're researching. For more tips, check out the Investex search tip sheet on the Business Ethics Guide. Now I will show you two excellent sources on finding company responses to ESG issues facing their industry. The first one is Factiva, a reputable news source that covers thousands of newspapers, news wires, podcasts, blogs, trade, and popular magazines. First. Authenticate with Passport York to log into Factiva. On Factiva's landing page, set the date range to within the last year. Next, click the arrow sign to the right-hand side of company. A blank search box appears. Type Barry Gold into the search box and select Barry Gold Corp from the dropdown. If you are unsure about the company, click on the eye icon to read more to make sure it's the correct one. Next, click the arrow sign to the right of subject. Type ESG into the box. Select both options that appear. The first one is ESG report, second one is environmental social governance. You can click on the eye icon to learn more about those subject filters. Click the blue search button to run the search. The page refreshes to show a list of results. My recommendation is to go through the list and select the articles you would like to read by checking the boxes next to them. Do a bulk download, which will generate one document that you can do a Ctrl or Command F keyword scan to locate relevant information quickly. You may select up to 50 articles at a time to download. To do this, make sure boxes are checked for the selected articles. Click RTF on the top. Select Headline, Article, and TOC from the dropdown. Proceed with downloading and you will see one RTF document. You can use Ctrl or Command F to scan this document. Lexus Security Mosaic is another excellent source for locating company responses as it's a powerful database for retrieving information from Canadian and U.S. company filings from CEDAR and Edgar. Let's run a search to look up Barry Gold's response to ESG issues facing their industry. Authenticate and log in to the database with your Passport York. Type ESG into the text search field under Quick Search. Type Barry Gold into the Filer search field. Select Barry Gold Corp from the drop-down menu. Set the date range to start from January 1st, 2020 to now. Hit search. 11 results appear. You can see where ESG appears as it's highlighted in yellow. In addition to the resources I mentioned, the library subscribes to many databases that could be useful for your assignment. Bronfman's Industry Research Guide is a great place to look for more industry reports that address ESG issues. Let's take a look together on Industry Guide's homepage. Hover over the downward facing arrow next to Industry Reports to expand the drop down menu to see all the sectors. I'm going with Resources Industries as it covers mining. All the databases listed here could be worth checking out. I'm going to demonstrate IBIS World quickly. Once you're authenticated and logged into IBIS World, type Mining Canada into the search box. 
select gold and silver ore mining in Canada from the drop-down entries to go to the report. A quick way to look up relevant information is through the search box that says search within this report on the left. Let's type environment to see what comes up. As you can see on the right hand side, all the sections that mention environment are listed. So this is an efficient way to search through the report with different keywords. Articles from trade associations could be another useful source to look at. I've embedded a Finding Business Articles video to guide you through how to search the top three business article databases we subscribe to. Any questions? You can start an online chat, send a text, book a Zoom consultation, or email us. The details are listed in the Business Ethics Guide. Thank you for watching.